Welcome to History Bedtime Stories in our pajamas in bed. And tonight is night number 12 of our ongoing series on presidential pets. Night number 12, president number 12, we're talking about Zachary Taylor. Now, Zachary Taylor ascends to the presidency uh, in 1849, but he only makes it about 16 months. He dies on July 9th, 1850. But he is an American hero when he is elected. He's called the hero of three wars because he had fought in the Mexican-American War, the War of 1812, and the Second Seminole War. He's elected as a Whig president. And with him to the White House go two horses. The first is his wartime mount, a horse called Old Whitey. And this horse was so beloved by President Taylor that he's actually in a lot of presidential portraits, like this one. Old Whitey, at the time that uh, Taylor becomes president, is really, really old. He actually is put out to, to pasture, to graze. So he just grazes on the White House lawn, minds his own business, but tourists are obsessed with this horse. He's famous as President Taylor's war mount. So they go up to him grazing on the White House lawn and they pull out his tail hairs for luck. The second horse uh, to go to the White House is a pony. It's named Apollo. And Apollo had had a previous life as a circus horse performing tricks and acrobatics. He is a gift from a physician named Dr. Pollock to uh, Betty, who is the daughter of the president. This is just before he is inaugurated, but after he is elected president. And Apollo the pony also goes to the White House where he is a dear friend of the first daughter, Betty Taylor. I hope you're enjoying history bedtime stories. Give us a like and a share if you are. Wash your hands. Be kind to each other.